Yo, what is up, everybody? What is up? Welcome back to the channel. You already know who it is, y'all. It's LT the God. And today, today 2K, they, they put out a patch, man. And according to some of these patch notes, I, I don't think it's looking too good for the dribble guys out there, right? But let me go through each one individually, each little patch note, and possibly give my thoughts on what this can possibly mean and what this can do to alter gameplay because that's what this that's what this patch is gonna do all right it's patch number 12 it's been a long year patches for 2k but let's see what these gameplay fixes look like all right now the first one says improvements to double team logic for more appropriate rotations and to prevent help defenders from leaving their assignments hmm now this is kind of a big deal especially for like my career players just because a lot of the times your ai teammate will excuse me ai teammate will come and double team when it absolutely doesn't need to happen and this sometimes even happens in like i don't know if you guys play play now online or even in just in regular games we have to control the whole team like let's say you have uh let's say LeBron James, all right? Let's say you have it set on double team when he drives to the paint. A lot of the times the guy will come out on the perimeter when he catches the ball, which is crazy, and it causes all types of mismatches because of that. So with this, I'm hoping that you know that won't be the case anymore as far as people overhelping or coming to double team in situations where it doesn't even require it. Moving along now, next they say that they enhance several dribble size up combos to make them more responsive when chaining moves together. Hmm. Now, I don't know exactly what they mean by making them more responsive. Maybe it won't be as much input lag and delay when it comes to trying to do several dribble moves. So, you dribble guys out there, I mean, it's looking good for y'all right now. Y'all might be able to dribble a little bit faster. You know, it might not end up, what is it? Like, I don't know if you guys notice, like, when you do behind the back, like, three times, it'll make you stumble. But a lot of that happens because the, the controls be so unresponsive sometimes and the input lag be so terrible that you end up doing the same move twice or the controls are just all bad in 2K. Let's just, make, let's just, put, let's just say that. The controls are all bad, but... This could possibly fix dribbling problems that some of y'all may run into. I know I run into some sometimes as well. Just trying to dribble and out of nowhere I do a move I don't want to do. So maybe it fixes that. I don't know. We'll have to play and see. But on to the next one. Now this next one is a big one to me. Alright. Pause. 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 This is a big deal. This next gameplay improvement they made. Now they say that they improved logic for off-ball collisions to prevent excessive bumping, resulting in smoother offensive flow. Now I don't know how often you guys like watch, you know, sharpshooters play, or just when y'all play in park or whatever. You guys might notice that sometimes if you off the ball, like a bigger, stronger defender can just come up to you and push you out of the play. Like that shit is annoying. So with this, it looks like. That won't happen as much as I mean it's probably still gonna happen because you know it's 2k they can never completely fix anything so it's probably still gonna happen but it's probably not gonna happen as often and it might not happen as greatly like it won't be as drastic as my guy being at the free throw line and a post scorer or a lockdown defender or even a glass cleaner coming up to me and pushing my guy all the way to the half court line it's happened before so hopefully that won't happen anymore with this new pack. Next up on the list, they say that they removed select dribbler collision reactions that will slow down the ball handler when contact was made from behind. Pause. That's a pause moment right there. But uh, let me see. What can this possibly mean? I think this could probably be when um, you're coming up the court, you got a trailer, and he happens to bump you. And that results in a bump steal. Or when you're like playing, was it threes? Or even when you're playing twos, a guy can come up to you, bump you out of the play, 
when you're inbounding the ball, and it can result in traveling. So I hope that you know that gets fixed because that is really annoying. Like, how can a guy come up to me while I'm inbounding the ball and knock me off my pivot, which results in like a travel, or you end up just losing the ball altogether? That's what it seemed like this will fix. Not necessarily like the inbounds, but like I said, when the guy's dribbling the ball up the court, you will sometimes have a trailer come up behind him and bump him, sometimes knocking the ball out of his hands. And hopefully with this, that won't happen as much anymore. All right, so next up they got offensive AI enhancements for better decision-making when countering double teams. Now, this is probably going to be more so for career guys because... I mean, in any other mode, it's not going to be that much uh, AI. Well, career guys, my league guys, my GM, those guys that play offline, this is definitely for you. Um, I mean, in my, my honest opinion, I think the double teams, as far as how smart the AI is when they're facing double team, the AI usually makes the, the right play nine times out of ten just because, I mean, 2K wants them to. So, I'm not too surprised by this i don't think this really changes anything if anything they should have changed it when like a lot of the times people can pass out of double teams no problem Why well, you can have a guy on your team with no playmaking abilities if you double team the guy he'll still pass on the dime to the open man like that is annoying that's what 2k needs to fix but they fix something else that i don't even think really needed to be fixed so yeah moving on now now next on our list, this this might kill y'all dribble guys, all right? It might, but uh, 2K say that they fixed an issue that would allow you to travel if rapidly chaining together certain rhythm dribble animation. Ooh, that's a lot of words, damn. But uh, yeah man, I think it might be an end to those uh, dribble, 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 step back, gather guys and his next patch which means I, I don't know man i don't think y'all gonna be able to dribble as much or i don't think the step back gather is gonna be as fast so it's not even gonna really be that useful that step back gather you killing me ryan gonna hold you up i ain't even gonna hold you up man that step back gather be so fucking fast it's faster than the actual dribble moves which is crazy to me but it seems like they fixed that i'm not too sure like i said i still haven't played game update and whatnot so i haven't played the game yet but that's what it seems like it fixed how like the the gathers more than anything you can go pretty fast left to right even back using all them gathers and that's what a lot of guys on like on 2k be doing nowadays they want to be dribble guys so they spam dribble moves and do step back gathers all game and that shit is annoying also it might fix the momentum behind the back too that a lot of people be doing and that's a killer because that's one of the fastest moves in the game and people love to exploit that so it might be a gg for dribble guys sad to say but y'all niggas might not be valuable anymore like y'all gonna have to learn how to do something else because all that dribbling shit it might be dead now it might be dead now last but not least 2K say that they fixed an issue that was preventing some players from signing a 10-day contract in my GM and my league. Now, me personally, I haven't run into any, well, I shouldn't say any, but I haven't run into many problems regarding this. I mean, the only problem that I've been having in regards to signing 10-day contracts is some of these guys, they be ass, but they they be feeling like, I, don't, I, I, I deserve more than a 10-day contract, man. My skills are there. Just sign me for the whole year. I'm like, nigga, I've never seen you play in my life. Um, I'm not about to, you know, sign you long term. So take this 10 day. And the dude be like a 62 overall or 58. You know, some real low. Like, why are you requesting more? Why are you not taking this 10 day? Nobody else in the league wants you. Why, why are you demanding that I sign you for a year? The shit is not happening. But... I guess this fixes that. I don't. I don't know if it fixes what I was talking about as regards to guys not wanting a ten day. Cause like I said, I I haven't run into any problems where I couldn't sign a guy to a ten day except for that reason. So maybe it does fix that. Maybe it doesn't. I don't know. But 
how you guys feel about these patch notes? Y'all think it's gonna make or break the game? Honestly, like 12 patches, bro. 2K. This is the most y'all ever patched the game in history. Like, I don't know what the deal was with so many patches this year. I think a lot of it had to do with them trying to please the fans. But yo, let me know in the comments below how y'all feeling about this patch. Are y'all scared? Y'all not worried? What's the deal with y'all, man? Let me know in the comments below also. Subscribe to the channel for more 2K content and regular NBA content in general. You know your boys out here giving y'all all that heat. So sub and hit the notification button so you know every time I post a video and you can just watch this shit. Also like the video before you go. Show your boys some love as always. It's greatly appreciated. And that's it for me, y'all. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.